Now this problem is related to energy conservation. A mass is attached to a spring and moving on a horizontal air track. So let us try this problem. So let us try A part first. We have a spring. One end of a spring is permanently attached to this side and this side is attached to a mass. Mass is M and a spring constant let us say K. Now this spring is basically compressed by a distance let us say x naught so this spring is compressed by a distance of x naught now once you compress this a uh, spring and if you leave this block this block will move in this direction and it will finally again come to the initial position and it will have some velocity the mass will have some velocity so this is initial position this is compressed position in this case a spring is having natural length that is a spring is relaxed but mass as a velocity. So we have to calculate velocity of this mass. Since there is no friction on this surface, so this is frictionless, we can apply energy conservation. So this is initial situation that is compressed situation is initial situation for energy conservation. So we can write energy in compressed situation. And this energy is half k x naught a square we can write energy in relaxed situation in case of compress this mass has no velocity so kinetic energy is zero now let us write energy in relaxed situation of a spring now this time there is no potential energy because this is relaxed so this is natural length so a spring has its natural length So this time potential energy is zero, but mass as a velocity, so we will have kinetic energy. Now we can equate these two energy, that is half mv square is equals to half kx square. So we will have v square is equals to kx square by m. So from here we will have v is equals to x under root k by m. So if I plug the numerical value of x, k and m, x is given, this is 0.18 meter, so the compression is 0.18 meter, k is also given, a spring constant in 10 newton per meter, mass is also given 0.15 kg. So let us calculate this value. 
so we have point one eight multiplied by a square root of ten by point one five. this is 1.469 so around 1.47 and everything we have taken in SI unit so well velocity will be in meter per second now let us discuss B part now B says once again we have to calculate the speed at the point where it has moved to 0.25 meter from its a starting point so this is the starting point right now it has moved to 0.18 meter so initially compression is 0.18 meter so initially it has moved from mean position that is initial position so initial position is this this is compression is in this case 0 0.18 meter initially it was here so it has moved through a 0 0.18 meter now this mass will come here but it still has velocity so it will go in this direction again more so finally it reaches to this position and this time this says distance is 0.25 from initial position so this distance is 0.25 meter this means from natural position this distance is 0.25 minus 0.18 that is 0 0.07 meter So we have wrote now distance of mass from the natural position or relaxed position is 0 0.07 meter and that is the elongation in a spring. So in this case we can see elongation is equals to 0 0.07 meter. It will also have some velocity so we can again apply energy conservation so this is my initial situation and this one is my final situation so if we apply energy conservation so we will have initial energy that is there is no velocity kinetic energy is zero potential energy is half k x square k is given 10 x is this time 0 0.18 so this is initial energy we can calculate final energy finally mass as a velocity so final kinetic energy is half mb square potential energy is half kx square mass we know mass is 0 0.15 kg k is 10 and this time elongation is 0 0.07 meter now we equate these two terms we can calculate velocity this is v square into 0 0.15 so from here we can write v square is equals to 10 divided by 0 0.15 into 0 0.18 square
माइनस पॉइंट जीरो सेवन स्क्वायर सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वेलोसिटी दिस इज अ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टेन बाय जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव पॉइंट वन एट स्क्वायर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन स्क्वायर सो लेट अस कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू सो वी विल हैव अ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टेन बाई पॉइंट वन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई पॉइंट वन एट इंटू पॉइंट वन एट माइनस पॉइंट जीरो सेवन इंटू पॉइंट जीरो सेवन सो दिस इज अराउंड वन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव सो वेलोसिटी इज वन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड यू सी इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव ऑल्सो कैलकुलेटेड द वेलोसिटी एंड दिस इज वन पॉइंट फोर सेवन एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट वेलोसिटी इज वन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव दिस इज लॉजिकल यू सी इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट we have calculated the velocity at mean position that is natural length and the second part we have calculated the velocity when the spring is elongated this velocity is 1.35 and this velocity is 1.47 1.47 meter per second so you see initially it has a high velocity slowly slowly velocity decreasing because there is a force acting in this direction finally it will come to the rest so when it will go to a point 18 meter distance initially compression is point 18 when it will go to at a point 18 meter distance from this position thus mass will come into the rest so velocity is keep decreasing so mass is moving this side velocity is decreasing because some of the potential energy is stored as some of the kinetic energy basically is stored as potential energy of a spring so velocity is decreasing 